The Dead Sea is surrounded by caves. Climbed into the cave, they found huge clay jars. Located between Jordan and Israel, the Dead Sea is one of the saltiest bodies of water on the planet, with a salt concentration so high that almost nothing can live in it. But as human activity and climate change have affected the region, the water levels have been dropping dramatically. And while that's a huge environmental issue, something incredible has been happening as the water recedes. Amazing artifacts, some over 2,000 years old, are starting to appear from the depths, and they're blowing our minds. In this video, we're going to reveal some of the incredible discoveries that have emerged from the dried up Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is a natural wonder, but like many things on Earth, it's been heavily impacted by climate change and human activity. For the past few decades, the water level of the Dead Sea has been dropping at an alarming rate. The main reason is that water from the Jordan River, which feeds into the Dead Sea, has been diverted for agriculture and drinking water. Combine that with rising temperatures and less rainfall, and the Dead Sea has been slowly shrinking right before our eyes. While this is a huge environmental concern, it's also led to some unexpected surprises. So why does the Dead Sea matter so much? For starters, it's been an important landmark in human history for thousands of years. People have visited it for its supposed healing properties, thanks to its high salt and mineral content. But more than that, it's been the site of numerous biblical stories and ancient civilizations. The land around it was once home to people who lived during the time of the Romans, Judeans, and even earlier cultures. Because of this, the drying up of the Dead Sea has uncovered many ancient relics and artifacts that have been perfectly preserved under its salty waters. What's truly amazing is how the salt helped keep these artifacts in such good condition. Normally, things like ancient scrolls, shipwrecks, and even statues would break down over time. But in the Dead Sea, the high salt content acted like a natural preservative, keeping these items in near-perfect condition for thousands of years. As a result, archaeologists are finding items that are giving us new insights into how people lived, traded, and worshipped in ancient times. These discoveries aren't just interesting, they're changing how we understand history. One of the most exciting discoveries to come out of the Dead Sea's receding waters is a collection of ancient Judean scrolls. These scrolls are thought to be over 2,000 years old, and they've been lying at the bottom of the sea for centuries, perfectly preserved by the salty water. Historians believe that these new scrolls could be related to the famous Dead Sea Scrolls, which were found in nearby caves in the mid-20th century. Just like those scrolls, these newly uncovered ones could hold important religious or historical texts that give us insight into life during ancient times. These scrolls could contain anything from religious writings, legal documents, or even personal letters from the ancient Judean community. Imagine finding a 2,000-year-old note written by someone who lived in the region during the Roman Empire. These new texts might confirm existing biblical stories or even provide brand new details we've never known before. Whatever is in these scrolls, it's clear they have the potential to be one of the most important archaeological discoveries of the 21st century. Another amazing discovery made as the Dead Sea dried up is the wreckage of a Roman trade ship. This ancient vessel has been lying at the bottom of the sea for centuries, perfectly preserved by the salty water. The ship is believed to have been part of a bustling trade network that connected the Roman Empire with the Near East. Inside the wreckage, Archaeologists have found all sorts of valuable cargo, including pottery, spices, and even some gold coins. This find gives us new insight into the trade routes that pass through this region, and highlights the importance of the Dead Sea in ancient commerce. The shipwreck is remarkable for several reasons. First, it shows just how advanced Roman shipbuilding techniques were. The vessel itself is large and well-constructed, designed to carry heavy loads across long distances. Second. The cargo found inside the ship offers a glimpse into what kinds of goods were traded between the Roman Empire and the peoples of the Near East. Items like pottery and spices were highly valuable in the ancient world, and their discovery in the Dead Sea indicates that this region was an important hub for trade. One of the most mysterious artifacts to emerge from the dried-up Dead Sea is a large idol of the ancient god Baal. Baal was a deity worshipped by the Canaanites and his image appears in many ancient texts, including the Bible. The discovery of this idol is significant because it provides physical evidence of the worship of Baal in the region. 
according to biblical stories. According to the worship of Baal was widespread in ancient times, and this idol could confirm those accounts. The idol itself is a large, intricately carved statue that likely dates back thousands of years. It's made of stone and has survived in near-perfect condition, thanks to the preservative qualities of the Dead Sea's salt. The figure is highly detailed, with markings and inscriptions that suggest it was used in religious ceremonies. Archaeologists are currently studying the idol to determine its exact age and origin, but they believe it could be one of the most important finds related to ancient Canaanite religion. This discovery is not only fascinating for historians, but also for religious scholars. The Bible describes the worship of Baal as a controversial practice, often in conflict with the rise of monotheism in the region. The idol's discovery could reignite debates among scholars about the role of Baal in the ancient world, and how his worship influenced the development of later religious traditions. One of the most exciting and luxurious discoveries to come from the dried-up Dead Sea is the ruins of what archaeologists believe to be a bathhouse that once belonged to King Herod. Known for his grand architectural projects, King Herod was the ruler of Judea during the time of the Roman Empire, and he was famous for building lavish palaces, temples, and fortresses throughout the region. The discovery of this bathhouse adds to our understanding of Herod's reign and the kinds of extravagant structures he commissioned. The bathhouse is a stunning example of Roman-style luxury. It includes beautifully preserved mosaics, pools, and even heating systems that were used to keep the baths warm. Personal items like perfume bottles and grooming tools have also been found, giving us a glimpse into the daily life of the elites who used this bathhouse. The level of detail and craftsmanship in the construction is impressive, showing just how advanced Roman engineering was at the time. This find is significant because it helps to fill in the gaps in our understanding of King Herod's influence in the region. While many of his other architectural projects have been well documented, this bathhouse provides new evidence of the kinds of personal luxuries enjoyed by the ruling class. One of the more unexpected discoveries from the dried up Dead Sea is an ancient copper scroll believed to date back to around the first century AD. Unlike other scrolls made of parchment or papyrus, this one is crafted from copper, which makes it incredibly unique. The scroll is covered with engravings, and historians are particularly excited about it because it's believed to be a sort of treasure map. Yes, you heard that right, a treasure map. The copper scroll, as it's being called, contains a list of hidden treasures, mostly gold and silver, that were supposedly buried across the ancient region. The writing on the scroll is in ancient Hebrew, and scholars are still working on deciphering all the details. What makes this find so exciting is that no one knows whether these treasures still exist or if they've been found long ago. Could it be that hidden treasures are still waiting to be discovered, buried under the sands of time? This scroll offers a tantalizing glimpse into the ancient world and the wealth that once flowed through the region. As the waters of the Dead Sea receded, archaeologists stumbled upon the well-preserved remains of an ancient soldier. The skeleton is believed to be over 2,500 years old and is thought to belong to a soldier from one of the many armies that fought in the region throughout history. What makes this find particularly interesting is that the soldier was discovered with his armor still intact, including a helmet and parts of a shield. This suggests that he may have died in battle and was somehow lost in the water or buried by sediment over time. Let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos about history, archaeology, and more exciting discoveries.